All right, welcome back. Hardison and Cochran is doing good by supporting the cleaning of Jordan Lake. Frangiano joins us to explain the group's mission and how you can help. And there's a lot to be done. I can see in your hand, you already have trash right here. I do, Alex. So what I, is this? Well, this happens to be a water meter cover from the city of Greensboro. Okay. And one might ask, how did it ever end up at Jordan Lake? Well, the Haw River starts about in Greensboro. Okay. And everything that's thrown in the water or accidentally it gets in the water, arrives at, eventually at Jordan Lake wow. because that's where the Haw River goes. So everything kind of ends up there. And you've got a yes. bunch of stuff that's here, the different yeah. things that end up sort of in the river? Just a demonstration. Or the uh, lake, we sorry. find a lot of these different kinds of things, softballs, basketballs, uh, baseballs. All different kinds of items. And uh, various... Uh, more hideous looking things, maybe. This is an old doll. Oh my gosh, uh, all found in, in the lake. Old time, all, yes, all along the shoreline. Okay, so why sh is it, uh, obviously it's very important to remove this trash, and what made you guys decide to put this all together and do this? Well, um, I'm an outdoor person. I uh, enjoy going uh, cycling around the lake and paddling on the lake, and I started to see this problem uh, many years ago now, and I try to think, how, what could I do to get the lake to a point where there's no trash on the shoreline. Where do most of the volunteers come from? They are coming from all around uh, the Raleigh-Durham area, and uh, they're all ages, from very young people um, to senior citizens like me, uh, who come out to um, uh, enjoy the lake and, and uh, to do some good. And do some good, yeah. So you obviously need a lot of volunteers. You, when is your next cleanup event? Our next cleanup event is October 10, and uh, it's in the morning, uh, 9 to 1 o'clock, and we try to make it fun. We have a trash treasure hunt. Oh, I like that. Which is what also is in my bag over here are some... A no, treasure hunt? Well, there's some items here that we have. <laughs> this oh, and is, like you uh, write something on them? Yeah, we, this is, tells you that it's a treasure hunt item. Oh, okay. If, if you, so find you find it, it. You, you turn it in, and we give merchandise prizes that are donated to us. That's awesome. So it makes it fun doing a good cause yes. or helping out. So what is the long-term solution when your volunteers go out and help? Because obviously at best, you, you, how do you keep up with all the trash? Well, this is the problem. The trash is generated in two ways. There is recreational use around the shoreline, so people come often to the lake. We have about one million visitors to Jordan Lake every year. Wow. And then there is this problem of stormwater, the rain that falls on the watershed all the way up to uh, Greensboro and over to Hillsboro. All of that flushes any piece of trash and even this water meter cover off the land, into the water, and it eventually ends up at the shoreline. Wow. So that's a recurring problem that we need to find a solution to, and that's the trash prevention part of what we do in our organization. Okay, and doing that, you probably need a lot of donations. So if there are people watching, how do those donations help you? Well, what we're trying to do now is to reach out to all of the eight counties in the watershed of Jordan Lake with a PSA and to do a slick PSA. Um, maybe you don't remember it, but it, uh, it was a uh, Keep America Beautiful slogan or PSA, the iconic Indian with a teardrop. Since then, I have not seen anything nearly as effective. And we want to try <laughs> to do something with a very slick PSA Just as good as to that. do some public education about everything you put on the land around Jordan Lake, all the way up to happen. Greensboro. It's going Make to it end happen. Up there. All right, donations are great. Thank you so much. Hopefully, everybody can get out and help. The big cleanup happening, and of course, you will want to check them out. For more info, go to cleanjordanlake.org.